Well, today is July 5th, and we are on the High Line Trail in the High Uintas, just north of Vernal, Utah, and route to Liddy Peak. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's spelled L E I D Y, so Liddy, Lighty, but uh, I've heard people say Liddy, so I'm going to go with that. But I believe it's also the uh, uh, highest uh, eastern point in the uh, Uintas, and it's also the high point in Uinta County. It's just over 12,000 feet. The trailhead, I think, was right around 10,500, somewhere around there. And we're going to try for the summit. Um, I think it's only a couple miles, hopefully, because it's already, uh, I don't know, 1, 1.30 in the afternoon so we're just doing a little day hike here but here's a quick look at the uh, trail and there's a band of snow on the peak I'm not really sure what it's going to take to get past that it looks like quite a bit of snow so I guess we'll find out I'm already huffing and puffing but it's beautiful up here there's a look back down below us and it was probably around 95 when I left Vernal and I think it's around 70 up here maybe even in the 60s so it feels great um, actually a little chilly so but the Sun is is uh, keeping things warm too so trails dry it's in good shape uh, some mosquitoes out but Nothing to keep us back. Um, and there it is, Liddy Peak. Nice, big, rounded peak. We don't have um, really jagged granite peaks here in the eastern part of the Uintas. But the further you go west, into Duchesne County, into Summit County, um, closer to Salt Lake, you get uh, more jagged peaks, or uh, rockier, big granite peaks. So, let's test the snow out, see how it is. It's definitely not deep, but uh, a little uh, a little slick too. Not really what I want to get involved with just wearing tennis shoes. We'll take the dry route. This ground is just waterlogged. It's like walking on a water bed. So I've lived in Vernal for about six or seven years and I've driven up here to the trailhead once and fished around in the lake below but I've never tried hiking the High Line or even summoning Liddy Peak. I don't know why so it's only about an hour drive and it's a pretty easy hike but I'll have to come up here more often because it's pretty awesome up here so coming around the bend here we got I think that's Marsh Peak over there Another uh, 12,000 foot peak. It actually might be higher than Liddy Peak. I'll have to check on that. But let's see what's up here. And then we'll start heading upwards. So the High Line would we'll continue on this way and we want to go up there it doesn't look bad at all let's go for it So we are making our way up the ridge. I think we're around 11,400 feet, so another 600 feet to go all the way up there. 
but an awesome view of Marsh Peak that way. I think that might be Ashley Twin Lakes. You probably can't see it. But if you look over this way, uh, I think that's got to be Flaming Gorge over there. You might be able to see that. And then beyond that is the great state of Wyoming. But this is a pretty spectacular view, I'm not going to lie. I think we're just about there. My GPS says we're a little over 11,900 feet. So hopefully we don't see another climb once, once we get to the top of this little ridge. Oh, <laughs> as always, another short climb and then we'll be there. This looks like it. Wow. Check that out. I don't know if you guys can see it on the GoPro lens, but we have a pretty spectacular view westward to the high Uintas. It's pretty awesome. Ooh. Looks like somebody built a little wind shelter up here. That's nice. So that definitely is Flaming Gorge down there. You can see Sheep Creek area. Looks like the town of Manila, Utah over there. Uh, Dutch John would be over that way. Wyoming is going to be way out there. And it's pretty hazy today. Uh, I'm wondering, and I'm going to bet that on a nice clear day, you could see the Wind River Range way out in Wyoming from up here. That'd be pretty spectacular. Then looking back that way, we got the high Uintas. And out, out that way, you can see Split Mountain, Dinosaur National Monument, and uh, the great state of Colorado. So it's quite quite the viewpoint up here. It's like this uh, alpine tundra landscape. Really rocky, I've about broke my ankle about 20 times already up here, so a little definitely cooler. It'll be in the 50s, 55, maybe 60. And then we have Ashley National Forest. Dense trees down there, a lot of big parks, wide open parks. And according to the GPS on my watch, it was a uh, one and three quarters miles to the summit here, which is a really short hike from the trailhead. So if you're doing like county high points in Utah, or you're just in the area and kind of looking for a day hike, this is definitely uh, something I can recommend. I can't believe I haven't been up here before in the last six or seven years, but Really easy hike. Uh, there's a little water along the trail, but you don't even really need any. So, yep, that's it. Lady Peak, 12,000, just over 12,000 feet. And just amazing 360 degree views. And I think it's getting close to four o'clock. I'm gonna try to fish the lakes just below the mountain here. I think Hacking Lake and there's another one. Well, they're actually uh, reservoirs. So I'm not even sure if there's fish in there, but we got the fly rod, so we'll give it a shot. And hopefully I don't break an ankle on the way down. <laughs> 